welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of every recipient of the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrosch, and today's episode is episode number 219. And if this is your first time hearing this podcast, welcome. Nice to have you on board. Please be sure to go back and listen to the uh, the whole catalog, keeping in mind that some of the earlier episodes may not be as well refined and polished as today's, uh, but they're still good and just as important. So please go check them all out, including the first episode, which does include a little bit of a history of the Medal of Honor. And be sure to subscribe wherever it is that you are listening. This way you get new episodes every time they come out every Wednesday and Sunday. And now, a tale of honor. William was born on the 6th of May, 1930, in Baltimore, Maryland, and shortly after high school, enlisted in the U.S. Army. He was deployed to Korea with the 25th Infantry Division, and it was his actions on the 19th of September, 1950, at the age of 20, that would earn him the Medal of Honor posthumously. The citation reads, Sergeant Jesselin, Company C, distinguished himself by conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity above and beyond the call of duty in action against the enemy. His company was ordered to secure a prominent sawtooth ridge from a well-entrenched and heavily armed enemy. Unable to capture the objective in the first attempt, a frontal and flanking assault was launched. He led his platoon through heavy enemy fire and bursting shells, across rice fields and rocky terrain in direct frontal attack on the ridge in order to draw fire away from the flanks. The unit advanced to the base of the cliff, where intense, accurate hostile fire stopped the attack. Realizing that an assault was the only solution, Sergeant Jesselin rose from his position firing his rifle and throwing grenades as he called on his men to follow him. Despite the intense enemy fire, this attack carried to the crest of the ridge where the men were forced to take cover. Again, he rallied his men and stormed the enemy strongpoint. With fixed bayonets, they charged into the face of anti-tank fire and engaged the enemy in hand-to-hand combat. After clubbing and slashing this force into submission, the platoon was forced to take cover from direct frontal fire of a self-propelled gun. Refusing to be stopped, he leaped to his feet and, through sheer personal courage and fierce determination, led his men in a new attack. At this instant, a well-camouflaged enemy soldier threw a grenade at the remaining members of the platoon. He immediately lunged and covered the grenade with his body, absorbing the full force of the explosion to save those around him. This incredible courage and willingness to sacrifice himself for his comrades so imbued them with fury that they completely eliminated the enemy force. Sergeant Jesselin's heroic leadership and outstanding gallantry reflect the highest credit upon himself and uphold the esteemed traditions of the military service. William Russell Jesselin returned to the States and was buried in the Bohemian Cemetery in Baltimore, Maryland, Site X-102. Dash C. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor Podcast. Head on over to talesofhonorpodcast.com whenever it is you have some time for more information, some other ways that you can listen and support the podcast, and be sure to leave a good rating and a nice review wherever it is that you are listening. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them on over to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. Thanks for listening.